Today I'm going to be re-gauging this freight car truck. And to re-gauge it, the first thing you have to do is take it apart. Don't need any special tools. It's not hard to do. As you can see, all you do is you take and you push the springs out. Once you get all the springs out, turn the truck completely over. Then you can lift the bolster plate out and the truck just literally comes apart. You can see the axles are now completely disassembled and ready to be re-gauged. Don't believe how easy it is? We're going to do it again. Watch. First thing we do, push the springs out of the spring holder. They all just kind of come apart right there. No special tools needed. Just use your fingers or your thumbs, whatever you're capable of. Lift the bolster plate. Take the truck apart. Axles come right out little word of warning here don't lose the bearings because they can slide out too and when they hit the floor they will roll and you'll probably never see them again this thing's called the Tombi wheel puller it's basically just bar stock and some holes drilled in a couple of bolts use the vise to hold the bolts in place it'll help hold the thing together while you're assembling it you take the axle as shown put the fixture together Put the washers on, put the two nuts on, and start tightening the assembly. You want to try and get the lengths of the bolts the same so that you have even force on both sides. Basically what this does is it applies force to the back of the wheel and pushes the wheel toward the end of the axle. Now you can completely remove the wheels with this fixture. And I've done that when I had to re-gauge from 7.5 back to 7.25. Here I'm doing just exactly the opposite, so the only thing I'm doing is moving each wheel out an eighth of an inch. Now you notice I only go two flats at a time. And as you get closer to your target distance, you want to actually go down to one flat or maybe even half a flat until you actually get to the distance that you need. And I'll show you how to determine that in a second here. When the wheel starts to move, you'll notice the whole thing gives. Now when I take an eighth inch drill bit, if I can slide it into the gap between the axle and the wheel, I know that I've increased the, the gauge by an eighth of an inch. So if I've successfully done that, all I have to do is take the fixture back apart, take the axle out, turn it over, do the other wheel. Doesn't take long at all to take the fixture apart. It's not a big deal. goes back together exactly like it came apart. Put the fixture back together, put your two washers on, put your two nuts on, tighten the assembly. Now if you were unlucky, unlucky enough to grab the end of the axle, you might have got some grease on the end of your fingers. If that is the case, then uh, just wipe it off with a paper towel and keep working. Same deal, make sure the links are the same. Start tightening until you've pulled the wheel back the required amount. And then just take the truck and put it back together. Putting it together is the exact reverse of taking it apart. It is a little bit trickier getting it back together, but it's not too bad. You have to line up certain things, and then when you do get it all lined up, then it all kind of falls together. The only thing left to do now is to put the springs in. Putting the springs in takes a little bit more time than taking them out, but still, it's not hard. First spring's already, already in for all practical purposes. There it is. Second spring's going in now. The inside springs are really not any harder than the outside springs. It just makes it look like it is. Okay, and the whole thing just clicks together like that. Turn it around, go ahead and put your inside springs in. Do that on both sides and you're done. And I'm going to skip a lot of the frustration there, but okay, it's on. Once you're done, mark it so that you know that you've re-gauged this truck and then you're done.